All right, everyone, if you're ready, it's time to have some Grave Encounters. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated found footage horror films. Do you mind if I film this? I'm, I'm making a little movie about my trip. Uh, let me go. I won't tell anyone. Please, why are you doing this? Oh, what's happening? We're leaving. Is he going to help us? No! <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at found footage horror films that flew under the radar and that deserve a viewing, and ranking them by quality rather than level of obscurity. Spoilers will follow. Let us know in the comments section down below which film you'll be watching with one eye closed. Number 10. Found Footage 3D The title of this one may throw you off, as we would expect a C-grade cash grab of a film taking advantage of the format. Yeah, that's not really- that's not a fair thing for you to say to me, okay? I mean... What did I ever- Jesus! It's most likely why it didn't garner enough viewers. That and because a lot of people are not on board with 3D in general. What we actually have is a smart and original take on the genre. You're essentially watching a movie being made within a movie, which is all very meta. And the actors inside the film ask the same questions an audience would while watching it. That's not a thing. It is now. The movie generates a lot of laughs before it expectedly transforms into a full-fledged horror experience. But that's what we came to see in the first place. <laughs> Number 9. The Conspiracy The fake documentary or mockumentary style of filmmaking adds another level of realism to the movie that acts as a barrier for the audience, separating themselves from the fiction to make it less scary. And it immerses them into the story that's being told. The Conspiracy explores the notion that conspiracy theorists, deemed crazy by many, may have been right all along. What is it? What, 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 what is it you're looking at? What is, what is it you're piecing together? I, I, I don't know yet! I don't know what it is! It's unfortunate that this only has a handful of critic reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. There are many movies with the title The Conspiracy, which is maybe why this one was lost among the crowd. You've joined a circle that can never be broken. Brotherhood. A family, in a way. No less than, say, a wife or a small child. What starts as a tame exploration into a conspiracy theorist's psyche slowly develops into an incredibly tense, scary movie with a chilling final act. Number 8. Grave Encounters All right, everyone. If you're ready, it's time to have some... Grave Encounters. We can almost guarantee that this film would have been talked about by millions worldwide if it had just come out a few years earlier. Just because the market was becoming saturated with found footage cinema doesn't mean the quality took a dip. <laughs> Grave Encounters is a nail-biting escape adventure that doesn't take too long getting into the crux of the matter. Who are you? How come you're, how come you're in here? Terrifying ghosts, a never-ending night, and a constant change to the hospital's layout make it a challenge for our heroes to escape. And it means that no matter who's watching, they're going to be scared of something. Number 7. Afflicted Just take it. Take it! <laughs> it's hard to remember vampires are monstrous, horrible, terrifying, blood-sucking creatures when Twilight and their sparkling vampires are so ingrained into our minds. But if you watch Afflicted, you definitely won't forget. Not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to hold out. The film is a compelling mystery thriller as we try to work out what strange illness Derek has contracted after he spends a night with a mysterious girl. We shouldn't be taking you to the hospital, right? Like, given your condition? No, I don't think so. However, when we do find out, it becomes an engaging study on how someone would react if they have contracted vampirism and the steps they take to survive it. If Audrey is right, and I can't die, then what I am, and the things I have to do, you can't be around. While audience reception was mixed due to the number of cliches Afflicted leans into, we still highly recommend it. Number 6. The Poughkeepsie Tapes Do you mind if I film this? I'm, I'm making a little movie about my trip. This mockumentary is more disturbing than scary. A serial killer has led police to where he keeps videotapes of him torturing and murdering his victims. That's why I did it! <laughs> I did it because of you. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you.
While the film touches on the psychology of what would bring a man to do such things, it focuses instead on what someone like this is capable of doing. Where are you going? You'll see. Once we see, it sends shivers down our spines. It's what we don't see, however, that scares us more. The film would have met a larger audience had MGM not removed it from their release schedule. It was largely unavailable for many years, which is why a lot of people are just hearing about it now. Number five, the taking of Deborah Logan. Oh, I hate letting all my heat out. This film explores the effects Alzheimer's has on the one suffering from it and its impact on their family, and respects that that can be enough horror on its own before it delves into the supernatural. <laughs> Just the looks Deborah Logan gives to the other characters, and by extension us, are enough to make us uncomfortable. Still, it's what she does as her possession becomes more and more powerful that will genuinely make us look away. A few critics commented that the film was unoriginal, and couple that with the fact that this was Adam Robitel's directorial debut could be the reason the film didn't receive the attention it deserved. Number 4. One Cut of the Dead It's a struggle to talk about this one because there's not much we can say without ruining the experience. It's about a film crew making a zombie movie when the zombie apocalypse actually happens. We urge you to watch this one as soon as you finish watching this top 10. It's a comedy horror with fantastic timing and genuinely creative and funny ideas. The beginning may not meet your expectations, but trust us when we ask you to stick it out because it shifts quite dramatically between acts you won't regret it. Given that this is a foreign film, we need to get as many people aware of it as possible so it reaches Western mainstream media. <laughs> Number 3. As Above, So Below If the concept of Lara Croft stuck in a haunted tomb doesn't excite you, it should at least get you intrigued. I'm not, I'm, I shouldn't have even come this far. I'm not. Please, I'm I not. need you with me. I'm sorry. Okay? Gosh, you show you're not gonna regret this. Good luck. Granted, this isn't actually Lara Croft, but it is an English archaeologist exploring the catacombs under Paris with her crew for lost treasure. Tell me we didn't just go in a circle. This isn't here. This is the this... same tunnel, no? This isn't here. Believe me. How did that? No, 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 no. Look. By now, we'd seen found footage films releasing so fast that audiences had grown tired of them, which is why this film didn't receive the praise it deserved. But it is a chillingly fun experience, and the ending is a mind-bending revelation that has to be watched. Keep with us. We can't. We can't go back. We have to keep going. Number 2. Lake Mungo This is a mockumentary so convincing that you could show it to anyone and they would think it was real. You know, we were just having a good time and I just thought you had gotten a bit upset. The performances are as natural as they get, and the concepts and visuals are so subtle that we wouldn't blame anyone for thinking so. Its execution in bringing attention to the ghost haunting the family in the corners of the frame makes us go white. There was something inexplicable in our house that was beyond doubt. Not only scary, but the film is also emotionally scarring, as the tragedy that has befallen the family and how it has affected them is devastating to witness. Australian movies have a hard time reaching international audiences, and we haven't seen anything else from director Joel Anderson, but we hope he comes back soon. I'm not quite so sure about his reasons. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hell House LLC, because of its great concept. How, if, if this is all true, how was it kept from the public for so long? The Last Broadcast, because it's an effective horror released one year before The Blair Witch Project. While Shelley begins the process of attempting to restore video, I will attempt to find a truth within the film I have already shot. The Borderlands, because its ending will haunt you for days. Green. Green. No Roy, the curse, because of its disturbing imagery. <laughs> the Tunnel, because of its terrifying creature. Right, I want all of you to come with me now. Hey! Come on! Mate, what's happening here? Mate! Give it a Tell us what's happening here! We're leaving! Is he gonna help us? Go! 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, creep. Anyway, it's like we're, we're still in a hot tub, but. This one will make you feel a myriad of emotions. Any movie that can make you laugh, question what the hell's going on, feel fear, feel at ease, and empathize with both protagonist and antagonist, all with each element being equally engaging, deserves merit. As the film isn't supernatural horror or a gore fest, we can understand no one talking about it. Are, are you going to let me go? It's definitely more on the unsettling side as we try to work out the motivations behind Joseph's actions. And even when we see the ending coming, it doesn't make us any less shocked. Hmm. Uh, the job is pretty simple, really. All you need is a video camera, yourself, and... If you like this one, then be sure to also check out the sequel. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.